Hello. Today I am filming a what I eat in a day. We are just eating Korean food today. I also want to go to the store because I have been craving this one like soft tofu stew. It's called sindu butsige and I have been craving it so bad. And I'm gonna go see if they sell like a little packet at the store. For breakfast, we are doing a tuk mandukuk, which is basically you've got tuk, your rice cake and dumplings. I really wanted to do like an ASMR type thing because I think it's just soothing to hear all the sounds and I wish you could hear me chopping the garlic and sprinkling in the salt and everything but my roommate was in the room on the phone being super loud and so i just took out the sound for any of you who like asmr i have that for my other meal so you can look forward to that later in the video i didn't have beef stock or you know like the little packets that are filled with fish that you put in water to use as like a soup base but yeah you can either use that or you can use like a beef broth as a soup base i didn't have any of that so i'm making the beef soup base from scratch the way I do that is I'm just marinating some ground beef. I just take a little bit into a bag. I put in some chopped garlic, some sesame oil, salt, soy sauce, and some garlic powder. I close the bag up, kind of mush it around to let it all mix, and then I just leave it to sit and marinate for a little while. My dumplings are frozen, so while I'm waiting for that, I'm just letting them heat up in this pot. The longer you marinate your meat, the yummier it'll be, and the more the flavor is gonna soak into the meat. I was just doing this last minute, and so I only left it for maybe about like 10 minutes, and now I'm frying it up in this pan. Once it's all fried up, I just put it in the pot here with the dumplings. The dumplings are still frozen. I let that sit in for a couple minutes, and then I add my duck my rice cakes and now i'm really just letting it all cook i'm just mixing this as i go and adding more soy sauce as i feel necessary I also put in a bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder, giving it a little taste, adding some sesame oil, just a teeny bit. After that's all done and good, I put in an egg, and this egg was really struggling to come out for some reason. But once the egg is out, you want to mix it quickly for just a couple seconds and then you want to leave it alone. Once the soup is basically done, I'm just shredding up some seaweed, some dried seaweed. And that is it. I'm just grabbing some oranges because I like to have fruits with my meals. Here is my food. For work, I actually teach Korean and we got a new Korean teacher and I had to hop onto a work call to help her out because she was new and was trying to figure things out and we were about to teach a class together. So I was just on that call while I was eating. Please die. Oh, that was me. I literally have so many bug bites. What should I like? Maybe your husband won't, huh? I you want to Okay. Oh my gosh. I literally never eat eggs this fast. I have used seven eggs in the last like four days. Well, I eat like eight eggs every day. Ow. Up <laughs> in a little um, lunch box. And I still haven't opened my kale cutter yet. And some cabbage. 
Honestly, doors are. Honestly, when I leave, I'm pulling my. Ego lifters? Ego lifters. Ego lifters? Yeah. And so, sometimes it's just how you actually move the weight properly. And so, I uh, am food looking yummy. Well, yes, but also, guess what? Um, you cook to your house. Well, you love me. yes. So, I'm making food. Okay, play the first one. Down a little. So my boyfriend and I are dating long distance and we decided to go on a picnic date over the phone and so I just went out to a pretty place downtown to have my food. And here is my food, it was so stinking good. Since his time zone is 7 hours ahead of mine, he was just eating something really quick and then getting ready for bed. So we just ate, he wrapped up for bed, went to bed, my phone ended up dying, and then I decided to go over to the Asian market to see if they had that stew that I'd been craving. They had lots of yummy snacks that were honestly really tempting, but I didn't give in, and I just headed home afterwards. So I got home from the Asian market and they did not have that stew that I really wanted, but I also have been really craving red bean buns and these are the Korean sweet ones that I really like. I've got some homework that I need to do but it's kind of hard to eat and like type at the same time so I'm probably going to watch a new show. I really love this little table. It has like these holes in it so you can put like a wine bottle but I don't drink wine so I guess I could put like cider in it or something and then you can hold glasses here. And this is a little handle so you can Ooh, I don't like all the holes in it, so I got this tray from Ikea, and I just really like putting it on top. I see a good wholesome show. <laughs> there is so good. So right now, I actually should be doing my homework, but I got distracted looking at rings and I have been looking at these beautiful gold rings and they're like men's rings, but they have like diamonds in them. I just think that is so different. And so I am just looking at all of these because I really want to find a ring that is super unique. I'm just looking through that right now. Some of these are really expensive. I just want to find like the perfect one. I'm only on page three out of 25. Hello, it is 9.30. It is really late, but I normally eat dinner really late, which is kind of bad, but I finish work at nine, usually get home around 9.20ish, and then I will eat food. I was thinking about what Korean food I wanted to make for dinner, and I was like, every day after work, I always will make tteokbokki. And so I was like, why not just make that because I always make it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of that. It's super easy, super quick, super yummy. And I think that's just why I always make it at night. It really probably isn't the best thing to eat at night because I also mix in ramen noodles. Well, first of all, ramen's not really healthy.
I just changed into my comfies because I have no reason to be wearing that dress right now. Normally if I get hungry, I have like a bowl of cereal or something, but I think this is going to be it for me because it's already like 10 o'clock and I'm probably just going to eat this, do homework, and go to bed. Didn't realize this till just now, but I developed this little guy throughout the day. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.